Cenobite's Bedtime Stories Episode 1 A Seaside Adventure Hello children and welcome to the very first episode of Xenobite's Bedtime Stories a show in which we'll get you all ready for bed so I hope you're all in your pajamas all snuggled up and have me beside you instead of your parents because your parents are good people with many flaws so today's story is a seaside adventure which is an absolutely excellent and exciting adventure about mice so snuggle in kids and let's get started shall we okay here we go a seaside adventure it was a beautiful sunny day and Ear's mouse was eating a lovely thick slice of homemade toast, with his very favourite homemade damson jam. He had made the damson jam himself from fruits that had fallen the previous autumn, and it had turned out very nice. He had the top section of his front door wide open, and the sun was shining straight into his kitchen. He could feel the warmth of the sun on his face, and thought to himself, this is going to be a very hot day! He could hear a lot of activity outside his house as the many animals in Oakview Forest went up and down the trail foraging for food. Tap, tap, tap he heard on the bottom of his door. He then heard some light scratching and then a black round thing popped over the top here's mouse new oh god <sighs> you see children this is what you call a black man's willy let's continue he then heard some light scratching and then a black round thing popped over the top ears mouse knew straight away that it was Harry Hedgehog's massive penis as this was something he did a lot. Morning Harry, Ears Mouse said. Morning Ears Mouse, Harry said. It's such a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is, said Ears Mouse. I've just been to see all of the friends in the forest. And have asked them if they fancy a day at the beach, Harry said. It's probably the last very nice day that we will have this summer. So, best to make the most of it, he continued. Are you up for it? Harry asked Ears Mouse. Ears Mouse could think of lots of chores that he needed to do around the house, as he needed to fix a few things before the autumn and winter arrived. However, he looked at Harry, who had a big grin on his face, thinking of the fun they would have all at the seaside. Ears Mouse could not disappoint Harry, and the others and inside, he really wanted to go himself. Now, that sounds like a fantastic idea, said Ears Mouse. Is everybody else up for it? Harry did not need to answer that question. As just then, all of his other friends appeared at his front door. There was Hammy Hamster, Molly Mole, Sid Squirrel, and Freddy Frog. Olivia Owl was now perched on top of the door. They had all been listening in to Harry and Ears Mouse, hoping that Ears Mouse would say yes. As it would not be the same without Ears Mouse. It always seemed to be a better adventure when he was there. All of the other animals, except for Olivia, had sunglasses on and they held buckets and spades and each had a rucksack with drinks and food. We thought it would be the best if we went to Shell Island Beach, said Molly. It is by far the nicest beach. Isn't that a bit too far to walk, said Ears Mouse, especially on such a hot day like today and with all these buckets, spades and rucksacks to carry? Oh, I suppose you're all right, Ears Mouse, replied Molly, looking disappointed. I have an idea, said Hemi Hamster. Well, that's all I'm going to give him when I come as well. I know I really got some cows, but I need to give an energy for the journey. Everybody thought that she sounded like a crackhead, but also thought it would be a great idea. 
they all know that Donald could be a bit stubborn and moody sometimes, even though they were all good friends with him, and he always seemed to be in a better mood if he could eat some carrots first. Once Ears Mouse had packed his rucksack and put on his straw hat and sunglasses, they all set off with Hammy Hamster leading the way to where the carrots were stored. The carrots were in an old wooden shed at the edgy of the fab. I apologize, children. My mouth just farted. And I don't think I can continue this story anymore because we all know they're all just going to be eaten by a big fucking fox and they're all going to die very painful and agonizing deaths. Well, but, you know what, let, let me just go to the end of this actually and and find out because I'm not reading through this whole fucking thing. It's shit, isn't it? It's absolutely crap. Alright, let's go then. Okay, the night Donald had a lovely dream about giant dicks hiding under a giant shell by the seashore and fell asleep with a big smile on his face. That's not what I was expecting, but I'm glad I read it. Thank you very much, children, for listening. I hope you have a very nice sleep and you dream of very nice things. Now, tell your parents to get their arses up here, stop drinking for two seconds, and turn off your iPad. Or whatever it is you're listening to me on. Okay, I'm just going to sing here until they come up and turn me off. do 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 Oh, come on, will you hurry up, woman? Or father, or whoever it is is going to be turning me off. Ah.